foot mechanics, propellers, and wind turbines. So both propellers and wind turbines act like a screw by using several blades mounted on a rotating shaft. In the case of a boat or airplane propeller, applying a torque causes linear momentum of the fluid in front of the propeller to increase as it flows toward and then through the blades. This change in momentum creates a reactive force on the propeller which then pushes it forward. A wind turbine actually works in the opposite way, extracting fluid energy or developing a torque from the wind as the wind passes through the propeller. So the book goes through and he develops several equations for both propellers and wind turbines. Uh, he uses the continuity equation and the energy equations to develop these following equations that relates the pressure at uh, either side of the, uh, the propeller blade. Uh, using those equations, he came up with what's called uh, Freud's theorem, which relates the velocity uh, near the blades to the entrance and exit velocities. And finally, he comes up with the force thrust driven by the propeller. We can also calculate the power and efficiency of the propeller. The power output of the propeller is caused by the rate of work done by the thrust half. So it's F times V1. The power input is F times V. So V here we're going to replace by Freud's theorem, which uh, I showed you in the previous slide. If the efficiency is the ratio of of the output to the input. So when you put this in, the F cancels and you're left with 2V1 over V1 plus V2. For wind turbines, the following uh, equations apply, which are similar to they are uh, for the propeller. You have the Ford's theorem equivalent, you have the thrust, and the efficiency is a little bit more complicated. So let's take a look at an example, example 610. We have a motor on a small boat that's a propeller with a radius of 2.5 inches. If the boat is traveling at 5 feet per second, we want to determine the thrust on the boat and the ideal efficiency of the propeller if it discharges water through it at a rate of 1.3 cubic feet per second. So the 1.2 cubic feet per second, that's our, that's our uh, Q. Uh, we know the, air, the area. Uh, so Q equals V times A, we could find the velocity of the, uh, the fluid, 8.801 feet per second. We can then use Ford's theorem that says V uh, near the propeller is V1 plus V2 over 2. Uh, we know what V is. Uh, we're told what v, V1 is, which is, is uh, 5 uh, feet per second. So we can solve for V2, which is 12.60 uh, feet per second. Finally, we can find the uh, thrust, which is given by the following equation. We can plug in the density. Uh, we're told what the, the, the radius is, uh, so it's pi r squared. It's 2.5 inches. Uh, V2 is 12.6 feet per second. We square that minus 5 feet per second squared, so we get 17.7 pounds. We can also calculate the power output and the power input by the previous equations, and we can calculate the efficiency. It's 56.8% efficient. So that's the end of, of this chapter, chapter six. I'll see you in the next lectures.